Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today because I fear that lost amidst the controversy surrounding recent statements on the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, lost amidst the hopeful events of Arab Spring, and lost amidst Syrian sanctions and military action in Libya, lies the real and greatest threat to the entire region, a nuclear Iran. As we debate the trajectory of a policy in the Middle East, we must never forget that as we speak, Iran is hurtling toward a nuclear weapon. A nuclear Iran would destabilize the entire region, up in the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, set off an arms race, and expose our closest friend and ally, Israel, to grave danger. The threat is real. As Prime Minister Netanyahu noted yesterday morning, they could put a bomb anywhere, on a missile, a ship, or in a suitcase, or on a subway. Last year, we implemented strong sanctions against Iran, but more must be done to close loopholes, ensure enforcement, and take additional steps to stop a nuclear Iran. No matter the challenges that arise in the Middle East, we must never lose sight of the most dangerous threat of all, a nuclear-armed Iran. Thank you, and I yield.